Is it more fun with your feet or what? Yeah, it is. I keep pressure where it's help. The kids love it. It's just an active, active sport. It doesn't cost a lot. You just run around and you go crazy. So. I just fell in love with this in freshman year. We're trying to grow uh, competitive soccer throughout the city of Cleveland. Uh, Good job, both of you. Pass it out. Spread out, spread out, guys. Okay. Uh, my name's uh, Case Petritus, and this is the Burning River Soccer Club. So I'm walking around in the neighborhood. If I see a kid, I give him a flyer or a business card, and I say, hey, why don't you come play? It's just, there's a dynamic within the city that's it's primarily it's still a football town. Cleveland's always going to be a football town. Dwayne Miller, it's out to the over the wall, and that one is it. You know, soccer is still one of the fastest growing sports in the globe. Uh, it's also one of the highest paying sports on the globe, and most people don't know that. It's a, it's more of a culture shock kind of game. So we're just trying to bring it to them to say, hey, this is a highly competitive, very difficult game to learn, but it's a lot of fun and it's very engaging too. I I didn't play sports until I played soccer. <laughs> Kids don't often get the proper instruction at recreation centers and other things, so we're really trying to build a system and a framework that works. I was really interested in it, and I asked my mom to be on this team. So, I well, on a team, then it. And what did she say? She said, yeah. Okay. She said, you can do it. Go away from it, John. Yes, go away. Protect the ball, buddy. Yep. As soon as the light turns on, it's like when they first learn their first word, and parents get all excited. It's the same principle. But uh, the difference is that now they've got a ball at their feet, they feel they're in control of something, and it's it's very empowering to them. My mom just put me in, and I loved it, so I just kept going with it. A lot of the programming a lot of these kids do attend, there isn't a disciplined structure. It's more of a free-for-all. You know, it's good if they just run around. This is more structured. This is more of a respect the coaches, we respect you back kind of atmosphere, and the kids respond to it. And, I, and most of the time, it takes a practice or two, but the discipline comes right back, and they want to learn. No. Are you a chicken, young man? No. I am a chicken. No. Why are you hatching my soccer I ball? I am a chicken. On your feet, Henry. No. I thought you were talking to me. Henry, one push-up. Oh, and a good one. Ready? Go down. Uh, part of our one element up, of this group is not only just the playing part and to get them off you know the streets a little bit and to do something different and constructive but also we do an element of healthy eating we want to educate people as they go to do another aspect of it so they can really be a total athlete at that point so when they're older they can always stay engaged exercise and eat well and at least know those basic concepts um, outside of school or anything else in that framework did you get to score anything yeah you got to score one yeah yeah cool, cool. Yeah, All right. so, nice how did it make you so, feel anyway, he, uh... It made me feel proud. For more information about volunteering, donating, or enrolling a child, visit burningriversc.org.